Hey, how's it going? My name is 3PS Gamer, and today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to get your custom images onto your Aorus Liquid Cooler LCD display. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So, before I get started, I just want to mention real quick that this video was inspired by Buddy Alex. So, today I'm going to be using Paint 3D on Windows 10 Home Operating System. So first we're going to be opening up uh, Paint 3D, we're going to choose a new document and we're going to go into our menu up here at the top and then we're going to come over here and click on browse files that way we can open up a file. So once you choose the image you want to use you're just going to click on it and then you'll hit open and that should bring it up in Paint 3D. Next you're going to want to mouse over the top uh, tab that says canvas on it. On the right side, you're going to see a few options over here. It says resize canvas. That's what we're going to be wanting to do because we don't want to crop it. We want to resize it. I'm going to be resizing my picture to a 300 by 300. That way my letters don't get cut out or anything. Depending on the picture you're using, you might have to experiment a little bit with the size. That way you don't cut out any part of it or if you do want to cut out some part. So after you resize your image, we're going to want to mouse over to the top left corner where it says menu. We're going to want to save this file. We'll also want to rename it that way we can find it and all that good stuff. So we'll hit save as. And down here we're going to where you can uh, choose the name and all that and the extension and all that. We're going to look for a BMP, a bitmap. That's the only format that the Aorus liquid cooler LCD display works with so far. Who knows why but yeah, so we'll save it in that format and we're gonna create a name for our picture. That way we can easily find it. So I'll just type in something I can find real quick here in the in the video. Make sure it's a bitmap format as well. I just had to make my name so complicated so we'll hit save and then we can exit out of here if you want to save it as a project on paint 3d you can which I'm not going to I'll just exit out of there okay so now we're gonna be opening up RGB fusion 2.0 and Aorus engine I always right click on it like that I'm, I'm just weird like that so but anyways we'll be opening up uh, RGB fusion 2.0 now Wait for that to load. Okay, and now we're going to open up Aorus Engine. If your Aorus Engine uh, opens up uh, on its own in the background, it might not open up the program like that. So what you can do is you can uh, hit Control Alt Delete and go to your task manager. You'll have to end the the task. So you'll find Aorus Engine on your task manager over here. You'll hit end task and that will allow you to actually open up the program to actually edit into it. I don't know why it does that, but I mean, it's kind of inconvenient, but that's the way it is. So, okay, so now we'll be able to open up Aorus Engine and actually edit some of the, the stuff in here. So, we're just waiting for it to load now. So, on the RGP Fusion software, you'll want to make sure you have it set to custom image. That way it'll allow you to use your custom image. It's weird how you have to use two programs for that, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of RGB Fusion 2.0 just so it doesn't mess with the Aorus engine. And then we're going to open up the file here. We're going to look for our picture. We're going to load it in and Aorus engine takes a little bit, but it'll start loading it and it says it's writing it. So it'll take a little bit. Okay, so on the bottom left, I went ahead and put a, a video right here. That way you could see live what's going on with the LCD screen as this is happening. So right now it is off, I believe, because it's writing the, the picture in or whatever. It's copying it in or it's doing its thing. So just keep waiting on it. All right, so there we go. It loaded up the picture and of course it's sideways. We need to rotate the image. Depending on how you mount your um, your Aorus, it'll really, do, well, the way you uh, orient your hoses coming out of it, it'll really depend on 
how it loads the picture but you know the good thing is that you can rotate the image so that'll take a little bit of time as well but it's possible to do so that's a good thing about this all right so i'm gonna go ahead and hit that button there on the side to rotate it i'm gonna hit apply and then i'm gonna hit yes over here and now it's gonna start to work on erasing the image and i think it's gonna re rewrite it on there so but i'm speeding up this process because this does take a little bit of time you just got to be a little patient and there we go it's erasing the image All right, so there we go. Now it's turning back on and it should be orientated the right way. Give it a second for it to boot. And there you have it. Now it's rotated, so right on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you enjoyed it, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Peace.